We're here today to check out the Proton X50. Hello, I'm Peter Davis and welcome to Fuel. This is Test Drive. We're here at Proton the Apple 4S in Bangui. This is one of Proton's largest service centres in the whole of Malaysia. It's a one-stop service centre with great customer service, sales and service, body parts and paint and also spare parts. The Proton X50 has many competitors in the B-Class segment. There's the Honda HRV, Toyota CHR, Mazda CX3 and Subaru XV to name a few. Let's not forget the Peridua Ativa. This could star in its own special. Starting at the front of the X50, we notice the very nice infinite weave grill. This marries into the brushed aluminium under lights and that goes to the full LED proton headlights. Underneath the full LED headlamps, we have air vents that look very aggressive. They are functional. There are little holes here that push air through to the wheels just behind so that aids for aerodynamics. In the center, just under the number plate, we have the ADA sensor. As we move up to the windscreen, we notice that there's a rain sensor and we've got a radar sensor, and this is gonna detect humans that you might want to run over or not. Just to the left of that is the smart tag sensor, which is part of the optional urban package, which costs 3,500 ringgit. It gives you floor mats and other such things. These are four exhaust pipes and they're all active no dummy exhausts here. For the rear, we've got the Proton aluminium looking bar and that leads into the LED lights, which are very nice and futuristic. Above that, we've got a spoiler, which is quite aggressive. Third brake lights in there as well. The X50 premium and flagship models come with 18 inch rims. These sit on Continental 21555s and those are the UC6 tires. On the flagship models, we've got two-tone paint, so body color and roof color. And on top, we've got a beautiful large moonroof. The X50 that we have has a powered tailgate. So you press a button and it opens automatically, which is a really nice touch. This is part of the 3,500 ringgit urban package. Inside, we've got 330 liters of boot space. There's a small hidden compartment where you can throw all your things in with your spare wheel and jack and you've got rear seats that fold down flat with a 60-40 split. Lots of space in the back here, so if you want to throw your bicycles in, no problems. When you open up the back, you'll notice the window shades. They're part of the 3,500 ringgit urban package. You get shades for all of the windows of your car, including the fronts. With all X50 models, you're able to start the car from the key fob, which is great if you just want to turn the car on and get the air conditioning running. So what you do is you double click, one, two, and press the start button and hold it until it turns on. And if you want to turn your car off after you've got out and you've moved to your house, let's say, just hold down the uh, start stop button and it will turn off. Then you can lock the car and walk away. Moving inside the car, you're met with a very futuristic looking dashboard that's supposed to resemble a fighter jet. So we have a brushed aluminium feel finish and a nice forks leather top. It all looks very, very classy indeed. Moving down to the center console, we find that the brushed aluminium finish continues and an array of buttons that allows you to access the many options of this X50. The heads up display is currently in the normal position right now, so it's a yellow color. But if you wish to go eco, you press the eco button and the display turns blue. If you want to go sporty, you press the sports button and the display turns red. In the center of the console, there is a 10.25 infotainment system. One of the things I've been told that I could ask the Proton X50 to do is to open up the sunroof by voice command. So we're gonna try that right now. I'm gonna say the magic words. Hi, Proton. Hi there. Could you open up the sunroof, please? Okay, play, please. Hi, Proton. I'm here. 
you are here. Could you open the sunroof up for me, please? Okay, play here. Hi, Proton. Hi there. Open the sunroof. Okay, the sunroof has been opened for you. I'll give it one more chance with my English accent. Hi, Proton. I'm here. Would you be able to close the sunroof for me, please? You can say make a phone call, navigate or play music. Okay. Close the sunroof! Okay, the sunroof has been closed for you. Let's test the speakers on the X50. Okay, it's good. We can hear that the sound system is very good. It's lacking a little bit of clarity, but that could just be because we're using Spotify. However, you can definitely hear the good trebles and there are some deep basses as well. One of the features of the X50 is the 360 degree camera. There's a dedicated button in the center console and it gives you a 360 view. If you're in reverse mode, you've got active telemetry, which lets you know where you're gonna end up, your front wheel and your rear wheels. So that's really good. And uh, also apart from that, you've got just your general front view, side view and rear views that you can access. As for cup holders, you've got a couple in the center console, which is great. There's a large space in the driver's side and passenger side doors for a cup or a bottle. In the back, you've got two cup holders in the center armrest and bottle holders in the side door compartments. Now on a hunt for USB charging, we'll find underneath the center console, we have one USB port and one 12 volt port which you can plug an adapter into. Just below the armrest at the back here, you've got a further two USB ports for your passengers. Speaking of the armrest, there's a movable top just in case you have shorter arms or shorter legs and your seats move further forward. And underneath part of the urban package, there is a smart tag card reader. The seats are covered with a very nice attractive leatherette and they have good side support and side leg support, giving a very sporty feel. There are also controls for the sunshade, which goes all the way back into a moonroof and to open the sunroof. Oh. In the back, there is plenty of leg room. This front seat is set up for me, so that would be me driving, and this is me sitting behind. I've got really long legs, actually, for my height not bad. When you're sitting down, you get a good view out of the moonroof. All in all, the look from the back is very comfortable. It looks very nice, fresh and modern. The X50's ride feel is very comfortable, but the suspension is still firm enough to give you a sporty feel. There's also assistance with the steering, so if you switch into sports mode, there'll be extra feedback from the steering. Because the seven-speed gearbox is dual clutch, it's very smooth as it shifts through the gears. We're gonna test the 0 to 100 right now in three, two, one. Okay, and we're going in first gear, second, and third gear, and we're approaching 100. So that was 100. It's quite difficult to think that that power came from a three-cylinder engine. It felt a lot more like an inline four, a lot smoother and less rattly. Being the flagship model, this has 177 horsepower and 255 newton meters of torque. Now the seven-speed dual clutch transmission has a manual mode. We're gonna try that out and see how good it is. We're in sports, we're in first, We've got to press the gear levers over to the left to put it in manual in three, two, one, and go. Ooh, okay, pickup is strong after 2,000 RPM. Automatically shifts by itself at 5,000. Gonna make it more manual and there we go. We're at 100. The car is very responsive. Even though we were manual, it automatically wanted to shift up by itself. So it's got thresholds put in place by Proton so that you don't destroy the gearbox by over revving it as it is uh, a dual clutch system 
they can be a little bit more delicate. The Proton X50 is riddled with safety features. I mean, it's got six airbags, it's got ABS, ESC, TC, BA, so many acronyms, it gets confusing. My favorite features of this X50 are the intelligent cruise control and the auto park assist. Okay, so I'm gonna press down here and we're now an adaptive cruise control and we've got lane keep assist with the blue lines on the heads up display keeping us in our lane. The car's slowing down because there's a Myvi in front and we're going the same nine or 10 kilometers per hour that it is. The Myvi's moving across, I haven't touched anything yet only the steering and the uh, X50 is catching up with the car in front. If you see any cars on the heads up display, the car is actually detecting with radar the car going past. I'm gonna press up on the speed here. 60, 65, 70, my goodness. The steering is really keeping the car in the lane by itself. I'm a little bit nervous right now. Okay, we've got the green light up ahead. We're at 86 kilometers an hour. There's a car in front of us braking. We have now dropped down to 72 kilometers an hour, 70, 69. And the car is kind of steering by itself. I mean, I'm not putting too much steering input in. There's a jam just ahead. I've still not touched the brakes yet. I'm a little bit worried. There's a proton ahead of us and we're slowing down. I'm not touching the brakes at all. I haven't touched the brakes at all. And the car has come to a complete stop. It's a bit nerve-wracking. The car in front of us is moving. Nothing's happening. We can still see the car there. We're gonna get the horn from behind. And I haven't touched anything yet. And it's turned off. Okay. I put some driver input in <laughs> because I was afraid of the car behind me. Now it's going all by itself. I don't know, this is kind of scary. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. This is, uh, this requires a bit of practice, a lot of nerves. I come from an age where I, I drive a car with a clutch. This is too much. So the intelligent cruise control was very good at stopping the car. And I like that as an assistant. To get the car going again, I'm quite happy to press the accelerator all by myself. All current Proton models come with an N95 cabin filter, including the X50, which is great because we're in the middle of a global pandemic and COVID is still running right. If you just had a couple of newborns, you've got a couple of Isofix seats in the back. This car also has a five-star NCAP safety rating and it's got anti-pinch windows. So let's just test that out. Oh, that's lucky, it worked. Still got my hand. Now, um, for the anti-pinch and the sunroof, let's try. I don't know, am I insured for this? Oh, it works. Let's check out a little bit more of the level two autonomous driving. And we're gonna go for the auto park assist now. There's a dedicated button here in the center console. I'm gonna press that. It's gonna come up with some information on the infotainment system. I'm gonna click on the parking assist that I want and I want to park on the left-hand side. I indicate to the left. Now I'm in drive. I'm taking my foot off the uh, brake letting the car roll forward, is going to see if there are any spaces up ahead that it's able to park into. It's found a space, it's asked me to apply the brake, I've applied the brake, and I'm gonna go back to my parking assist button, and I'm gonna hold this down for a long time. I'm going to let go of the brake pedal. So the car is by itself without me touching the brake or acceleration. It's automatically parking by itself, this is a bit scary because it's parking next to my car and I, I, I just have to check the mirrors because there's a sink on the side of the building. The car is parking by itself. There is nothing going on from me apart from me holding the button down. And it appears to be quite successful. We're going backwards right now. Are we going to go through the fence? No, we're done. So there you have it, the Proton X50. These are produced in Tanjong Malim and they have a very solid 
good quality built. This is the flagship X50 and this weighs in at 103,000 ringgit. Baseline models start from 79,000. The X50 is loaded with safety features, but what makes it stand out from the rest is the level two autonomous driving with automatic brake and on top of that, assisted parking. Well, I'm gonna give it a solid nine out of 10 because it's a comfortable car. It rides well, it's got good quality to it. It feels luxurious and expensive. It's got a great infotainment system. The music's not bad. You can have a mini party on your long road trips. It's got a turbo, I love that. And on top of that, it's got a seven speed dual clutch gearbox, which is nice and smooth. Sports modes, so you can actually change how aggressive the car feels. It's really, really good. The reason it loses the one point is because um, it scares me. It's got that level two autonomous driving. I mean, it's a good thing, but I thought we were gonna die like a couple of times. I, there were cars, they were rushing towards me and I had to be like, no, don't press the brake. It scared me, maybe, yeah, it, it scared me, but it did the job, I, I'm still here. A big thank you to Proton for having us today and Sam for showing us around the X50. If you want to know more about the Proton X50, then check out the description below where you can find out details for Proton the Apple 4S here in Bungie and then get yourself a test drive. Thank you guys at home very much for watching this review of the Proton X50. If you want to see us review a different car, mention down in the comments below what you'd like us to check out and also let us know what you liked about this review and what you liked about the X50. So Sam, I've got this for six months, yeah? Free fuel. Yeah? Yeah, okay, right. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And be sure to check out some of the other videos we've got over here. Maybe that one, or this one, or that one. Remember, get fueled.